Beamer almost <laughs> said a little too much there after committing a foul. Well, you know, Brent Beamer's a, a tough competitor. He works so hard to meet so much to him, but he still, every once in a while, commits a dumb foul. And that was one right there. He was out of the play. Harris was nowhere near, or Rashad Young was nowhere near the play. Yet Beamer gave him a little chuck and knocked him over. for a three, top of the key, ah. won't go. Right there, right in the lane. Jeremiah Johnson doing some good work going inside, a little guy created some havoc, and now Niagara will get the ball. He's played very, very well tonight. He's controlled this team well and worked hard, both defensively and offensively. Tops in the Mac at seven assists a game, hasn't had that many tonight. Had four turnovers in the first half, and he settled down here in half number two. Nobody looking to go one-on-one, -on -one. too strong there. Beamer tips it to Watson, Watson back up strong. Niagara by eight. Young guarded by Beamer, gets a double team from Jobody. Now Jobody is gonna pick up his fourth foul. Kevin just leaving his feet there, and that's gonna draw the whistle on him. Well, they had a double team on, uh, on Rashad Young and they didn't close it off, Beamer and, and Joberty. They let him split him and he went in between them and there wasn't anything else Joberty could do. That brings Jermaine Young back into the game. There it is again. You see Joberty's got to hold his position there. He's got to hold his position. You can't let him push through. Rashad Young to shoot two. You get the feeling that most of the scoring is coming from the free throw line this half, you're exactly correct. Loose ball and Young gets it back. Don't want to let up here as a three-point shot. You don't want him to get off. Martino drives instead, shot altered by Watson. And a foul on Jeremiah Johnson, that'll be his third. Prayed to the foul line. Does, does the Delphi cable pay overtime <laughs> when you have to work so more than your two hours? The UB has just seven field goals in this half. Everything else coming from the free throw line out of their 25 points. Well, they're getting to the line a lot, and they're good free throw shooters. 6.55 to play, and Niagara is led by 10 on a couple of occasions, but not been able to stretch it any farther. UB, despite Rashawn Young not being involved in the offense, despite sitting out most of the second half with four fouls, has been able to find a way to hang around, and that is a concern to this Niagara bench. They sure saw is. how they got burned on a late three-pointer. They saw how it happened to St. Bonaventure, and they don't want to see a repeat of it here tonight. If you're keeping track of your pledge to the American Cancer Society and the Coaches versus Cancer, so far, Niagara University has cashed in on 39 three-point shots. That's a great thing to be involved with, the Coaches versus Cancer. It's for a much worthy organization, and I think more people should uh, really try to get involved. Your money goes to a good cause, and it's a lot of fun. Tim Sadlin, former coach at St. Bonaventure, heading up that program in this uh, New York State region, and each of the uh, local coaches participating, including Tim Cohen at UB, Jack Armstrong at Niagara, also, the women's side. The women's side is con contributing to it. Yeah, Bill Yeah, our <laughs> team is, and we've hit 43, so uh, we're contributing money. Nathan Johnson shooting two. Team 
fouls over the magic number of 10 for both sides. UB really cooling off from the free throw line. Made three of the last seven after making the first 12 in the game. Make it three of eight. Watson again out a lot farther than he wants to be. Draws a double team, finds the open man. Now they swing it around. Weaver picks up his dribble, finds Johnson, his shot off the glass and in. Nice play by Jeremiah Johnson, also was a nice assist by Brent Beamer. O'Connor pushes his way through a screen. Top of the key, McMillan, a three. Well, Brett Beamer helped out on, uh, tried to help out on Clemens, and uh, his man got open. Can't let open people shoot the three. Nine point lead, touches six. 5.53 to play. In its own way, the game has gotten entertaining despite all the fouls, just because it's so close. And everybody's well, working so hard. Yeah, they're working very, very hard. It's a very hard fought game by both squads. Five on the shot clock as Jeremiah Johnson pulls up for three. Off the mark. Rebounded by Clement. Jeremiah Johnson has drawn Martino in this set man-to-man. -man. Jermaine Young steps around taking a shotgun and creates a turnover. Tough man to man, a lot of collisions in the paint. Beamer tries to create for himself, he'll go to the line and shoot three. Ah, uh, they only gave him a only two. Only gave him two. Yeah, he, that, that looked like a three point shot, but they said his foot was on the line. I think Jack ought to argue that one. Well, no argument there from Jack. Clemens just his first foul. How did he uh, go on uh, all the time? I point? don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he's been guarding Brent Beamer, and Brent really hasn't looked at the basket very much. Brent, five of six from the line now on the year. Fifty-six, forty-eight, Niagara with four fifty-one to play. Bernowski comes in for Beamer. wondering, Niagara's lowest scoring output this year was 68 points in a win over Canisius. Sean Young over Bernowski, gives up, it's off, no good, rebounded by Bernowski. Johnson Trav. Uh, double dribble. Saw Jeff O'Connor, thought he was going to skip him a pass for a three, and then saw the passing lane closed and just walked with the yeah, ball. Yeah, Clemens did a good job. He got into the passing lane and made, uh, made Jeremiah Johnson pick up his dribble. Niagara goes back to his zone now. Young, a three. Wide open there. Cuts the lead to five. That's what happens when you let people split the zone, and that time the two front people or Niagara let, uh, let Clemens inside the zone. Well, it's like a football game when you try and cut through the lane of the screens right now. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of pushing, a lot of shoving. Not dirty stuff, just a lot of physical activity. Niagara's half-court offense really laboring. This is a team that likes to go more in transition. Jeremiah Johnson forced something there. Jermaine Young, and it blocked by... Alcott. Ah, nice steal by Jeremiah Johnson. Bernowski back to Johnson. Johnson! Uh, tough call. Tough call. Jeremiah Johnson most likely should have taken that jump shot from the corner, but he thought he could drive the lane. 
3.34 to play, Niagara by five. Clemens working on O'Connor, back out. Oh, wide open inside, Wheeler, oh, he forced it up there. It was quite a tough foul by Bernoski and we, Robert Harris, excuse me, almost got that to go. That was a good play by Bernoski. He didn't let him get that shot off. He grabbed right a hold of his wrist and pulled down on it. He hits these two, and they're right back in the game. There it is again. Watch the hard foul and almost a miracle. Wide there. open. Yeah, he just got, he just grabbed his arm and pulled him right down. Scott McMillan comes in. Sean Young goes out for just a quick moment. Bernard Wheeler. And the game is Clemens going out. And Wheeler's going to turn up the defense a little bit here. They're going to need to get a couple turnovers on Niagara. Harris only a 50% free throw shooter, but he makes a big one there. And this one will get UB back within one possession. Shaka rebounds, but steps out of bounds. Big possession right here for Niagara. If they can get a score, that's going to put them up at least by uh, by six points, and that'll be a big, big basket. Jopity will be set to come back in for Niagara. The next opportunity, despite four fouls, can't wait any longer. Three minutes to play. Got a mismatch. Got Martino on Chris Watson. Now he switched back. Eight on the shot clock. They clear it out for Johnson. Kicks it out to Bernowski. Three! Big basket. Now we got a seven point lead for the Purple Eagles with two minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. 20 second timeout called by Tim Cohen. Four new players coming into the game for UB. Jobody in for Niagara. Rasan Young will get back into the game along with Robert Harris. For Cohane's troops down by seven. 41 to play. Here's another look at Niagara creating a three off penetration. Perfect, perfect penetration. And Bernowski spotted up outside and he knocked home the big shot. That's exactly what you wanted him to do. Jeremiah Johnson did a real nice job of penetrating the middle. Uh, who says Jack Armstrong can't be working hard? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you kidding me? Nobody works harder than Jack does. Hassan Young, able to get rid of the ball. That block. Uh, Kevin Jobody just fouled out of the game. Clemens is making offensive, defensive substitutions. Now, excuse me, Tim Cohane is making offensive, defensive substitutions. For Kevin Jobody, it is his first DQ of the year. Armstrong wants to talk to Mike Lasky a little bit before he makes his change. Well, you know, Jack made a good point. He said he changed pivot feet. He did. He did change his pivot feet. He did travel. But they didn't call it, and Kevin Joberty ended up picking up a foul. Going to use this as a timeout all the time he can. Now he'll send his five on the floor. It'll be Young, Watson, Bernowski, O'Connor, and Jeremiah Johnson at the point. Well, I'm sure it was UP strategy to go right at Kevin Jobry, and the strange thing was he committed all five fouls in the second half. Yeah, he did, you know, and, and they, they decided to go inside. That was their second half strategy. Al Cox makes the first free throw. Niagara has led all the way in this game. UP has never led, but they have never been out of it. And it's now 59-55 with two and a half minutes to play. They hang around, hang around, hang around. And that's a very tough team. Big possession for Niagara. They don't want to turn the ball over. They need to at least get a decent shot.
Watson comes over, one on one with Tanga Shaka. Not giving him the basket. Tanga Shaka has four. Once again, Chris Watson inside. There's no match for that for the UB Bulls. You cannot, they don't have anybody to stop him once he gets the ball in the tank. Talk about situational substitution. UB's going four at a time, offensively yeah, well, and defensively. If you look what they have in there now, they have four three-point shooters in the game, four guys that can put the ball up, and, uh, and they're going offensive defense. This is his offensive squad. They're small, but they shoot the ball. Chris Watson doing an excellent job making his free throws here in the second half. Chris Watson is a gamer. Niagara 13 of 16 from the line this half, despite that miss. That's a travel on Rashawn Young. He tried to have an acting job there, but Jermaine Young was just planted like a tree. <laughs> he ran into him and had just what it was. He ran into a tree and fell backwards. And now we get the defensive squad in there. Uh, the only one he leaves in the game offensively is Martino, because he does it all. You'd be pressing a little bit now. Niagara breaks the pressure, but Armstrong wants a patient possession here with under two minutes to play and the team up by six. The clock is the enemy right now for UB. They, they need to get the ball with, uh, with some time on the clock. Niagara needs to run it off. Niagara will be content to get a trip to the free throw line out of this. Eight on the shot clock. Johnson, four seconds, forces a shot off the rim. Rebounded out long by McMillan. Now this is tough because you got your defensive team in the game. The only only real score is Proud they one. call the timeout. To, <laughs> call the timeout so he can get his offensive players in the game. This is there you see it. Four new players. 11, 3, 42, and 10. That's Rashawn Young, Nathan Johnson, Alcott. Well, he wants to get he wants to get uh, those offensive shooters in the game. He needs a couple three-point shooters. Well, if you want to hear more commentary about this particular ball game and others, tune into the Jack Armstrong Show on Adelphia Cable and Lockport Community Television as the days and times listed on your screen. Coming up for Niagara next, uh, renewed rivalry. DePaul coming to the Marine Midland Arena. Yeah, it'll be a real big game Saturday, and DePaul is a, is a powerhouse team. Two-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Clemens. Now the defense comes in. I think Tim's going to run out. Tim Cohen's going to run out of timeouts, though. He's going to have enough to timeouts play, yeah. to get the offensive and defensive players in. Niagara needs a good possession right here. They don't want to turn the ball over. They just want to get a decent shot at the basket with a with a four-point lead. 109. Here's the replay. Clemens doing a good job getting the rebound and going back up with. Oh, that's a travel again. Was yeah, that? yeah, it was. He changed pivot feet. <laughs> but you know, I guess they're not watching the feet. They're just watching the arms. For all the whistles in this ball game. And all the fouls, we've already had uh, Kevin Jobley foul out. We have Rashawn Young playing most of the second half with four. Bernard Wheeler with four. Tanga Shaka with four. A lot of people in foul trouble, but we haven't uh, caught all the trap. And if you want to keep up to date about Niagara University sports, including the women's basketball team coached by Bill Gronis, Blaze McDonald and a hockey team, and much, much more, there's your Niagara University sports hotline. Updated daily, 286-8380. be interesting to see what the commentary is about this game. <laughs> 109 to play, now I'm well, leading 60-56. I don't think this was uh, atypical of a yeah, game, you being that type of game. It's going to be a very physical game. It's going to be a lot of emotion, which is obviously they showed tonight. So, you know, I'm not really surprised this. I'm surprised you'd be as a shot a little better. Calvin Murphy, Jr., 
back in the ball game for Niagara. Not seen a lot of action here in the second half. He struggled well, a bit tonight. He's got all the guards in the game right now, and Chris Watson because they're going to try to control the ball. So he's got actually four guards in the game. Jeremiah Johnson will go to the line, followed by Martino. You have to pick your spots on who you put out, out there on the floor to commit the foul. Also, you put Calvin in there because he is a good free throw shooter. Right, right. You're putting good free throw shooters in the game. You got Bernatsky and uh, uh, Jeremiah Johnson that can shoot free throws. You got Jeff O'Connor, who's a very good three free throw shooter. So you want to make sure you got guys that can do that. He just put Jermaine Young back in the game to play a little defense now. So Jack's doing a little bit of that offensive defensive substitution also. Again, there are two shot fouls in case you joined us late. Both teams well over the bonus. The Niagara, which had a poor first half at the free throw line, was 14 of 17 here in the second half. Cost them the first game uh, among these two teams. Between the two teams. Not costing them here tonight. They lead by six. 54 seconds to play. You don't want to let up a three-point shot here. Young over Bernatsky, no good. Watson rebound, and he's fouled. He was up in the air on that rebound, wasn't he? Matt Clemens commits the foul. Oh, Watson goes to the line for Niagara, but of course the clock is stopped with 42 seconds left. Big free throws here for Chris. Push that lead over six. Then you're more than two possessions away. Right, yeah, two three-point shots won't, won't do it for you. Violation, so Watson will get another chance on the second. The break. Break for Chris Watson. Big foul shot here because it does put you more than two possessions. Got to hit one of these. Bill, at post game, we'll be talking with either Jeremiah Johnson or Jeff O'Connor, I'm sure. Well, we haven't quite decided yet. They both had outstanding games. Jeremiah Johnson seeing most of the duty at point guard for Niagara and gets this team settled in what has been a difficult and intense game. Niagara by seven with 40 seconds to play. And UB going to the threes. Martino rolls it out. Jeremiah Johnson with the rebound and he's immediately fouled. Let's say this. Jeremiah Johnson makes these foul shots. He's our player of the game. <laughs> Honorable mention to Jeff O'Connor, who's some important threes in this game. He sure did. He played very hard. Played with a lot of poise tonight, I thought. Calvin Murphy Jr. back in for Niagara out of this timeout. Nate Bernoski, a much improved performance tonight than his last game. He, uh, he would have to, in my mind, get the defensive player of the game award if we had one because he was all over the floor, got a lot of tough rebounds, did a good job. Did a real good job on, on Rashawn Young. Uh, didn't let him get off to, uh, you know, a big point total. So I think he had a great game. Well, UB has pulled out a few miracles this year, but the bag may be empty here at the Gallagher Center tonight. I think so. I don't think he can, uh, they can pull it out here. Two opportunities for Johnson to shoot the rock. Did you get a good look at it? It was an important game for Niagara. Confidence-wise, coming into a stretch where they would like to pick up some wins before they face the inevitable, I'll face the inevitable Kansas loss. Yep. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, they're playing DePaul, which is, a, which is an excellent team, top 30, top 35 team in the country, and then they're going to go out and play Kansas. So uh, they got a long road ahead of them. Got Lehigh in there, which might be another win you want to chalk up. And hopefully this one against UB. They're up by nine with 34 seconds to play. Uh, John Young drives the lane and 
Watson picks up his fourth foul on a block. Uh, you don't want that. You really don't want to see that, you know? He's going to take a shot. Let him take an out-of-control shot, but don't put him at the foul line because it stops the clock. Also, he's potential for a three-point play, so he's only going to be shooting for two here, but that shot would have been fallen. Potential for a three-point play. Jones will come in for UB, and that's Tim Cohen looking for somebody who can commit a foul. It's his first action of the ball game, and he'll be the designated hack if Jeff O'Connor touches the ball. You don't want Rashawn Young to pick up his fifth. Matt Clemens picks up his third. Stops the clock with 29 seconds left. Jeremiah Johnson going back to the line, trying to cement this one for Niagara. Well, he makes these two and puts them up 10. This has been a lot closer than a 10-point ball game the whole night. Very hard for it, fought game. Johnson gives Niagara a nine-point lead. Niagara is led by 10 on a couple of occasions. Biggest lead of the ball game. UB wouldn't go away though. Niagara able now to pull away a little bit at the end once again from the free throw line. 67-57 with 29 seconds to play. Son Young. Lemons an open three, no good. And that could be it for Rashawn Young. Looks like he committed the foul on Jermaine Young there. And that's his fifth and disqualifying foul. 22 seconds left to play. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll back with the conclusion of this ball game. We're going to keep it here. Okay, we'll keep it right here. 67-57. 